Hello everyone, it's Dr. Gupta at the Dermatology Laser and Vein Center and we were going to briefly talk about one of the ages that uh, commonly come to see us, which is usually women, usually between 40 and 60, but let's just say 50 on average. And what's happening at this time in your life is that you might be going through perimenopause, you may be going through menopause, and that accelerates the loss of collagen as your levels of estrogen begin to diminish in your skin. Some patients do go on estrogen replacement and it can sometimes help your skin, but regardless, that damage has been occurring slowly and slowly over time. Usually starting even in your 20s, you begin to lose about 1% collagen a year. So by the time you get to the age of 50, you've lost maybe 30% of your collagen and then it might be accelerated from the hormonal changes that further happen. So what do we do at this age? Because you know, there's volume volume loss, there's certainly loss of laxity in the skin, you may be starting to notice more wrinkles, and certainly this differs from ethnicity to ethnicity. Our lighter skinned patients tend to have more wrinkles appear and more pigmentation, dyschromia and things like that, just because there's less melanin or pigment in the skin to protect you from UV damage. So it's really important as you're younger also to make sure you're using sunscreen every day and then also using products like antioxidants that give you extra protection from all of the oxidative elements that can damage the collagen and then uh, using products like Retin-A, which are proven to stimulate new collagen production. So those are all really helpful things. And if you wanna get extra fancy, you can also use different peptides and things like that. So if you've been doing all of that, and let's say you've been actually maybe doing things like BBL laser forever young or Fraxel laser or uh, different types of peels or something just to keep that collagen active throughout the years, then you're also going to be at a better stage when you get to 50. But suppose you haven't done those things and you've just enjoyed your life, gotten a lot of sun exposure, and you've lost a lot of collagen in your skin, then before we just start adding volume back to your face, because there's certainly a component of volume loss that also happens and shifting of fat, as well as the structures like the fascia and the supportive structures in the skin, the muscle, also starting to get lax, then the fat is not as well supported and can start to shift in the face. And uh, when you start having areas where you might have depressions or laxity and volume loss, then our natural tendency is to want to add fillers. So fillers are definitely important because we do lose volume as we age, but we also don't want to overfill the face and then just look kind of fat and chunky. So we want to do it in an artistic way that actually makes you look slimmer and more youthful and appropriate, just balancing out the features. So the first thing I like to do at around 50s is to like really consider some sort of a skin tightening, skin lifting procedure, whether that's a facelift whether that's a uh, energy-based procedure such as Morpheus 8, all therapy, fraxel laser, profractional laser skin resurfacing, something to restore your skin's health and also the fascia and all of the subcutaneous connective tissues and the muscles to get them as strong and healthy as possible. And then when we lay the fillers, into skin that has been treated, you will see much more beautiful results, a much more balanced outcome. Sometimes I will also use threads to lift the face up without having to use as much filler. And then of course I love the M face procedure which also supports the structures under the skin and helps your fat pockets just kind of lay back where they were supposed to be and then we can supplement that a little bit. So. Um, this is just a little bit about what I like to do in the 50s. I like to combine procedures, so we don't want to just add fillers. We want to definitely do something to restore the skin first and then add our fillers and neurotoxins and other things, and you always get better results when we do a combination of procedures.